In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add images side by side in WordPress. So let's head over to WordPress. So for this demonstration, I am using the free version of WordPress at WordPress.com. But if you're hosting WordPress on your own server, the process should be exactly the same. So you, you can add images to either posts or pages. So I'm going to click on posts. And you can either add a new post or you can update an existing one. So I'm going to click on this one. So the process to add a single image is very simple. Simply click on the plus icon on your page next to where you want to add it. And then you can choose from the block section and you can choose an image. And you can either upload or select an image already installed on your site. So I'm going to go into media library and then I'm just going to choose this one and insert it. And if I update, and if, if we have a look at that page, it now looks like that. So that's the option to add a single image. But what if you want to add multiple images side by side? So the process is very simple again. So I'm just going to delete this one for now. So I'm going to choose this option and delete so again if we click on the plus icon to bring up the block section so you can either use the search bar to search for the item you want or you can also click on browse all and if we go down to the media option you can see there's a gallery option so if we choose this one so we can now either upload or select images. So if you want to upload, click upload and choose from your PC. Or if it's already on the server, choose media library. And again, we can choose an image of our choice and insert it. And it looks something like that. So that's just one image. What if you want to add a second, third, fourth or fifth image? So click on the image again until you see the toolbar. And on the far left hand side, Click on the little picture icon, which is select gallery. Once you do that, the toolbar should change with the option to add a second one. So click add. And again, you can upload from your PC or choose from your media library. So I'm going to choose from my media library. So you can choose either one or multiple pictures. So I'm going to choose multiple pictures. Just add them to the page and insert. And now you can see there are multiple images on the page. So there are some other options as well you can choose. So if I click on the three dashes again, and this time make sure you select gallery. And then on the right hand side, make sure the settings option is enabled. We can then adjust the number of columns if we want to. So we can go from three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. We can also crop the images to make sure they're all the same size. We can also make sure they link to attachment page or a media file. So once you click on them, they go to a new page. We can also change the resolution from full size, large, medium, and so on. Large is usually the best, best kind of quality and mixture of size. And we can also click on the styles option and we can change the block spacing. So you can see different sizes in, in the spacing of the images. So there's a few different options. So if we update that, and if I go to this page and refresh, we can now see there are multiple images side by side and so on. So that's one option. I should also say you can also click on each, each individual image and you can add the alternative text option, which will help um, Google and search engines kind of index your image and so on. So I'm just going to delete this one. So another option is to click on the plus icon again. And we can browse again and under media, there's an option called tiled gallery. So let's click on that one. And again, it's the same kind of process. You can either upload from your computer or select images which have already been added. So again, I'm just going to choose the same images, insert them. So a tiled gallery, as you can see, is kind of like a crazy paving effect of kind of all different sizes. And again, you have some options to round the corners. You can see on some of them, you can see the corners are being 
Reindeer. We can also choose the link to attachment page or media file. And we click on this option here. Again, this is, uh, we can choose the default. We can choose circles. You can now see that all circles, square tiles, and a tiled column and so on. So that's another option. So we're going to update that, give it a quick look. So it looks like that. And there is one more option you can do. So I'm just going to get rid of this again. Delete that. So the last option is to add a column. So click the plus sign again. And if you just type in column into the search box to find it, CO is usually enough. So columns. And we can choose different columns. So we've got multiple different columns. So I'm going to choose the one which is uh, allows you to add three. So you can now see the three different columns. So if I click on the plus sign, choose an image, I'm going to select an image again. And you can insert them one by one. Image, either upload or select image. And just that, and again, there are some more options on the left-hand side. Again, make sure your settings is selected. And again, you can add alternative text. You can change the resolution. You can change the sizes of them and so on. So you can see different sizes. And of course, um, you can choose this option again, styles, and you can choose a border. So you can see the border. So this applies to individual images and so on. So again, if I update this one, it's going to resize that to the normal size. And if we look at this page, refresh, and you can now see there are three images side by side. So there are three different options to uh, place images side by side. Hope that helps you. Thank you for watching.